Uh, welcome guys, my name is Tom Antos and in this video I'm going to do a review of a new gimbal from Came TV. This is the Came, uh, Ar Came TV Argo. Uh, and this is like their latest sort of a mid-range gimbal. They have, you know, the small gimbals like my favorite which is the Came Single for kind of a pistol grip uh, style with, you know, for like really small cameras. Uh, this one uh, will work with small cameras, you know, tiny little DSLMs or DSLRs. Um, you know, even like a black magic uh, uh, production camera or cinema camera, you can put it on there. Now, it's not going to take a full size, let's say a cinema style camera, like a Ursa, uh, but for like, like I could say, it's kind of up to like a mid range kind of size camera, this gimbal is perfect. Now, if you're wondering, you know, just overall what my opinion is of this and you don't have time to watch maybe the whole video, then I'll tell you right away uh, it's an amazing gimbal. Now, I'm going to kind of explain why and what are some of the cool features. Uh, but I think overall, just for the price that you're getting it at, uh, you know, you're, you're really getting a lot of cool features, more features than many of the competitors. Uh, now, um, some of the things that I really like about it is the fact that it's, uh, it's fairly light and also it's uh, very kind of modular, uh, meaning that you can take apart things, you can take apart these handles, for example, this top handle too. Uh, this little mount here now, it's kind of similar to the DJI Ronin or the DJI Ronin M uh, and uh, it simply means that it has a like an easy, you know, uh, mount that lacks uh, so it has like a safety pin in the back here uh, and then also on top of that, you know, you have this thing here, this knob that you can, like, kind of allows you to tighten it uh, plus they also give you this little piece now which uh, uh, has, you know, a quarter inch screws here so you can attach this, let's say, to a tripod, you can have it like this and then put this gimbal uh, on top of there, attach that. Or let's say if you have, um, I don't know, some kind of a crane, you want to hang this off a crane or a cable cam or something like that, you can now easily attach this gimbal because you do not need these top handles basically for the gimbal uh, to work. Uh, another cool thing that the gimbal includes uh, is this little joystick that it comes with. Tiny little joystick, I think it operates on Bluetooth, uh, via Bluetooth signal. But either way, it's uh, you know it has a battery inside it. It will last you know easily for a whole day. I've never had it die on me this this remote. Uh, you have a simple button to turn it on and change the the camera. I mean the gimbal modes, and then you have this joystick, this big white joystick that allows you to rotate the you know and and pan and tilt the the camera. So it's it's very nice in that way. Works very smoothly. It's also just it's nicely designed. So when you have it there on on the uh, on the handle, you just quickly attach it. You can walk around with it and just have your thumb on it and you can easily point the camera where you want it. Also, like I said, just pressing the button, you can change the different camera mode. Uh, so you have the first mode, which the camera is in right now, which is just your standard follow mode. Um, so, so as you can see here, the, depending on where I point basically the, the handles, that's where the camera is going to be pointing. Uh, and then you also have the locked off mode and then just a, a pen mode, meaning that the tilt is going to be locked, but the pen uh, will follow. But because of the fact that it has a detachable, you know, wireless remote for it, uh, you can now actually use this, like I said, you know, remotely. So let's say if you want to do a two-man operation, you put it into a locked off mode and you just have somebody running, let's say, with this, while the operator, operator can be sort of just comfortably sitting, watching this whole, you know, basically what's on the, what, what the camera sees and just uh, panning and, and, and tilting the camera to get the perfect kind of framing. So you can do that, or like I said, you can attach it to a crane or things like that, uh, or put it up on a, on a tripod and just have it sort of as a remote uh, pen and tilt head. So that's a really nice thing. Now, another cool little feature that this has that uh, I don't think a lot of people know, and that's like an advantage of our gimbals, for example, like the DJI Ronin M, is the fact that here on the bottom, it actually has a built-in uh, wireless video transmitter, and it comes with it already. So. Uh, here, let me just tilt this camera up so you can kind of see it better. Basically, what it is, is it has a little power distribution box here on the bottom. Uh, and it also has, uh, you see, this antenna. Now, if you're not going to be using it, you can detach the antenna so it's not in the way. But you have this antenna, you have here a little, you know, basically a button just to turn on the wireless video transmitter. And also so that you can uh, change the, the different channels that it operates on. And then here in the back you have a, a micro uh, or mini uh, uh, HDMI connection, so you can connect your camera to it. Uh, also here in the front of, of the, the, the power box here you have actually a PTAP con power connection, so uh, you can connect other, you know, like let's say wireless follow focus or other accessories and power it off of that. 
Um, now to actually get the signal out of this, because the, the video transmitter is not HD, it's basically a 5.8 uh, gigahertz video transmission. It's going to be, you know, NTSC or PAL signal. Um, and because of that, uh, you need a monitor that, you know, or, or a, a video receiver that operates in that same frequency. There's a lot of them out there because pretty much anybody who does FPV or uh, FPV kind of, you know, drone flying, that's, that's what they'll be using. Uh, you can buy those monitors or those little video receivers. And if you want, Came TV actually offers a, a monitor, which I have here. And it's this monitor. Also a pretty good price. It's nice, thin, light. Um, and this monitor, uh, as you can see, has a, you know, two antennas. That's sort of a radio antenna and then uh, the uh, so sort of a regular center antenna. Uh, and it, it comes actually with a, it's like a nice monitor because it comes with a, you know, nice sunshade kind of thing like that. When you fold it, it's not that big. And you do not have to attach any batteries. As you can see, it's very thin. Uh, and that's because it has this large but very thin battery that's kind of basically covers most of the, the back of this monitor. So when you actually get this monitor, you will have to install the battery. It takes just a few minutes, but you have to take off these screws and put the battery in there. Uh, and then you can charge it via the, you know, the, you have the DC in port. Um, now, if I, for example, just to demonstrate, if I wanted to have uh, basically, you know, uh, receive the signal on this, then I'll just uh, make sure that the camera is on. And one more thing I gotta do is just gotta make sure that the video transmitter is turned on. So just click the little button there on the bottom. And yep, now we're getting a signal. You guys can see. Hopefully you can see it well, well here. Now, like I said, it's not gonna be HD signal, but I think it's just enough basically what to see so you can get uh, the kind of framing that you need. Uh, and it's also, uh, what do you call it? It's uh, maybe for critical focusing, it's, you know, because it's not HD. Uh, maybe I wouldn't recommend it, but if you have focus picking, for example, turn on your camera, then uh, it's good for that. So it's kind of cool that you can have this function. And like I said, the monitor itself is fairly light. Uh, the gimbal comes with a monitor here attachment, so you could even attach it here, sort of have it, you know, uh, running around basically with this monitor, uh, and then you don't have to worry about wires and things like that. But if you quickly want to, like I said, go and use it in a remote kind of operation or a two-man kind of operation, then you take the monitor off, Take the little, you know, remote control joystick, and you can easily, you know, remotely now control the camera now, or control where it's basically uh, pointing. So it's it's a really cool feature, and it's it's kind of nice that they just added it in there because then, let, let's say if you want to, you know, like I said, have a remote kind of operation, and let's say you have you turn on focus speaking in the camera, you could even use this to to get like perfect, for example, focus even though you're on um, uh, on a gimbal because. Uh, another cool feature that this has is it has uh, this rod here you can see uh, and it comes with it you can take it off if you don't need it but uh, i've installed it in there because i was putting on there uh, the wireless follow focus and so if you have a cinema lens or in this case you say i have a photography lens but i just put in a, a cinema sort of a gear um, a kind of adapter here on my lens then i can this way uh, pull focus uh, while the camera is on the gimbal without disturbing the camera so you're still getting nice and smooth shots and also, like I said, if uh, you know a lot of the follow focus systems out there will have will need to have a power source to kind of you know to power it, while well, putting on an extra battery and all that stuff would really weigh this whole thing down. So that's the nice thing is that you can just connect it to PTAP here and it will draw the power from your from the battery here uh, from the gimbal. Uh, so it's just kind of nice to to know that uh, like I said that they kind of thought ahead and made it very easy to, for for you, for example, to operate this remotely and also have remote. Uh, follow focus uh, because of, like I said the power the, the PTAP connection and the wireless built-in wireless video transmitter uh, Definitely that's one of those I would say key features that sets this gimbal apart from uh, the other uh, competition in a similar price range uh, Another thing I like about this gimbal is the the battery itself now has been updated uh, Also just overall the, this whole gimbal if you notice uh, It's definitely come a long way since uh, came TV first started with like their came 7000 uh, 500 for example the, the, the gimbal as good as it was you know kind of looked very primitive with all the wires sticking out well you'll notice now there's no wires sticking out uh, just the whole design of the gimbal is really nice and now even the battery they kind of did it in the same style as like the DJI Ronin uh, batteries where you kind of just put it here like that uh, you know doesn't have any wires that you need to click in or anything like that you just clip it here on the back and that's it uh, press a button here on the top so you can see the battery life 
and also so you can uh, for example you know turn it on you press it once to see the battery life press it again and hold it to turn on the gimbal uh, and like i said it's nice because the battery itself is powerful enough to power the whole gimbal and also power your your accessory up here uh, now the battery life itself uh, is uh, is very good i don't know exactly how many hours like non-stop usage it would be because i've never actually used the gimbal non-stop for a whole day but i have used this for a whole day of shooting about nine hours and the battery lasted okay the, the battery life it's kind of the reason why i don't even want to talk about it too much is because it's going to vary drastically that's with every gimbal depending on what size camera you have and also how well you balance it if you don't if you do a bad job balancing the the camera uh, then the boat motors have to work extra hard and then they use extra power so uh, then with any gimbal you're basically going to go through your batteries a lot quicker now talking about actually uh, balancing this uh, that's again another little advantage that the, the you know came argo has uh, over some of the other gimbals uh, it has these you know basically these all these kind of like i said knobs and stuff like that that allow you and kind of see like this um, uh, this latch that allows you to kind of you know disable it so you can now move the camera let's say in this case vertically up and down but what's cool about it is that came to be a start of it uh, and it kind of did it where even though you unlatch this the camera doesn't just move on its own it's not completely loose because to actually move it you still have to turn these little knobs here so in this case you move the knob uh, uh, you know up and down and especially for the vertical adjustment this is you know a huge help because with some of the other gimbals Basically, the second you unlatch this, the you know, weight of the camera will push it down and it just goes down and then you forgot what your position was. Um, so if you, for example, like, are very close already with the balance, let's say the vertical balance, but you still you know, need to make a tiny adjustment, go up or down a little bit, well, it's kind of hard in, with the other gimbals because you unlatch it, but then you got to hold it here, make sure it doesn't move on you and then slightly move it and then latch it quickly. Or well, Cam TV, you just unlatch it, you see it still stays in the same spot and then you can just fine tune it by moving these knobs and you can really really fine tune it thanks to that so that's a really nice thing uh, and they have that available up here also uh, for uh, even the the yeah you know access it has the same kind of idea you unlatch this you know and then once it's unlatched you basically just turn this knob and you can move it uh, you know back and forwards to to get your your perfect yeah uh, kind of uh, balance um, so that's a really nice thing like i said that they thought of uh, overall, like I said, the gimbals have been, you know, nicely designed, clean, no wires. Now, uh, in this version of the gimbal, and what I mean by that is that this is the latest version of the Kain TV Argo, because originally this uh, gimbal came out, uh, I think it's going to be like three months ago, or two and a half months ago. Um, and when it first came out, those of you who got it right away, you might, you know, uh, you're probably aware of this, that uh, the uh, roll motor basically only went up to 90 degrees and it stopped. And that was done so that you wouldn't pinch the wires inside. Well, now they've actually changed it where there is a bit of a wire here sticking out, very tiny amount because it goes through the center of the motor and then it goes through the frame. Uh, but what that allows you is to actually now, you can rotate it, you know, 360 degrees nonstop. So uh, that's a nice thing. Uh, another thing you'll notice now, the gimbal itself is fairly low. It's actually, if I go this way, I'm hitting the table. That's because the stand uh, is in its lowest position. So you can actually make the stand go a lot higher, about this much higher. So that's a nice thing. Uh, especially if you have, like I say, a bigger camera or then you need to put lower uh, and you just need more clearance. Stand itself is nice because it's very simple, very light. Uh, doesn't add to the weight of, of the overall package, uh, which I like. And also that's what I like overall about this gimbal is that it w it's been designed uh, to really be kind of portable. Like said, overall, the gimbal is fairly light and the whole package, the, the case, uh, and all the accessories, once you put it in there, it's, you know, compared to the competition, it's not as heavy. But one beautiful thing is the case is really small. It's actually one of the smallest cases for this size of the, the gimbals uh, right now that I've had. Before that, you know, the, the gimbal that I loved the most, or the case for it at least, was the one from Turbo Ace, uh, which was the All Steady uh, 6 Pro. Uh, and now I'm, I'm testing out there also their All Steady 6 uh, Motion. Um, and that one, uh, that gimbal is like it's a great gimbal, and it's what's really cool though is I liked is that the way they designed the case. It's it's you know hard shell, you know protective padded case, but it's not big and bulky like for example like the ones you'll find for you know DJI Ronin for example. Now this you know Kim TV Argo uh, case is even smaller. It's a tiny bit, not a huge difference, but it's a, even a little bit smaller than the Turbo Ace All Steady Motion. So it's really nice, it just simply means it's easier to travel with and you can take it on an airplane, let's say, as a carry-on luggage very easily. So that's a cool thing. Um, 
and uh, overall like i said you know it's a great deal i think for a gimbal has a lot of nice of so those features like i mentioned uh you know little things that just kind of i guess you know in my my opinion put it above the the competition uh and above all it just produces smooth shots which is very important uh so i'm gonna just let you guys sort of see a few of these shots out here uh, so you can kind of judge it for yourself Now, another thing that's uh, nice about the gimbal is that it also uh, has various you know, operating modes. Uh, what I mean by that is that you can operate in the standard position like you see here, but you can also operate it in inverted, and it's very easy now to switch to inverted mode. Um, and the gimbal operates beautifully smoothly. You can you have full range of tilt and pan without any problems. Uh, you can also use the joystick in that mode. Uh, and like I said, because of this, this latest version now, you can rotate this 180 degrees or further, I mean, actually. Uh, whereas the previous version of this gimbal, you can only go 90 degrees. It uh, means that you can be in inverted mode and still have the camera upright the correct way. Whereas versus before, the camera would be basically upside down and you have to invert your video in, in your editing software. So it's just like a nice thing. Um, and also this will do briefcase mode. Uh, just like the DJI Ronin or the old steady motion or you know pretty much any gimbal out there even like the Moza now one thing that I've been kind of just noticing and that's with every gimbal out there that you know and when it comes to briefcase mode it's smooth uh, definitely can deliver smooth shots uh, it's just I find that uh, with all of those gimbals uh, panning is not a problem but when you start tilting you can tilt maybe 10 15 degrees but when you start tilting uh, the camera you know like down or up you know more than that you'll start then noticing that the the the, the briefcase mode basically just breaks apart doesn't uh, the briefcase doesn't work anymore uh, and that's that's the same case here with with argo like i said nothing that really puts it below the competition because i've like i said i've noticed that with all the other gimbals that i've tested out and i'm actually right now in the process of testing uh four other gimbals so i'm going to be releasing a whole bunch of videos just kind of comparing all of them now overall i'm really happy with this gimbal i think for these kind of mid-size uh, cameras it's a perfect option like i said you know really good price uh you know really light small form factor when you pack it all in uh, into the case has those extra nice little features like the wireless you know video transmitter and, and the uh, follow focus you know connection the rod and then the, the power for it um you know wireless joystick all those things like that that it has that just really make it a, a, an overall, I think, a really good uh, you know, purchase. So if you guys are interested and want to get this, as always, you can obviously get it from the Came TV website. Also, you can get it at b and uh, and a few other places. So I'm going to post all the links in the description of this video, as well as on my website. Uh, so if you guys want, go over there, find the latest deals. You know, you can kind of compare the prices easily and decide what's, where's the best place for you guys to buy this gimbal. Uh, and also, if you want any other filmmaking uh, tutorials, other filmmaking gear reviews, things like that, as well as some really cool um, you know, giveaways that I have on my website, uh, then go to tomantosfilms.com. Tomantosfilms.com, uh, if you have any question, uh, I, I probably already answered it. If not, you can ask me there. But like I said, just go in there, click the little search uh, icon, and then type in whatever it is that you want to find an answer to. Uh, and like I said, if it's filmmaking related, you'll probably find an answer on my website. And then uh, also if you want, like I said, some of the free downloads that I provide, like the widescreen bars, some uh, free LUTs uh, for easy color grading, uh, you know, even like this camera photo cheat card, things like that. All of that is again on my website. So uh, just go then to tomantosfilms.com slash downloads and you'll find all the, all the cool free uh, downloads over there. Anyways, thank you guys and I'll see you next time. Or the or the DJ. Anyways, thank. Anyways, thank you guys, and I'll see you next time.
<laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, that's it. Uh, you know what I mean. Time to do the next video.